is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head.
a long time and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. Signal, you who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. I am back in Rapture after so many years. The little ones I rescued are grown up and think of me no more. After what I once did to them, it was a joy to be forgotten. But now, all around the world, children vanish by the sea, kidnapped. And so I return, in fear of what I already know. Someone is making new little ones, continuing my work, my sins. Even if I am to die for it, I must stop them. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there.
Walter. You arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Careful. Security cameras belong to Lamb, but if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny. One you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. Quickly, head for the elevator! Oh, 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 oh,
Now, here is what the children tell me. You are a very old Big Daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Turn to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins, and the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk. Citizens, Citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is, is Subject, Subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people, people. Without, without soul, soul or, sympathy. or sympathy. It is a it beast, beast apart, apart. and as, as family. family we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this, but there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta, and good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. 
I've already been on all the rides. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mom says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. I wanted to see these dog eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Are we gonna be together again, daddy? We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splicers will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. Just put her right down on that corpse. That is a child of the family. Not a toy for you to exploit and discard. 
It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splices off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. Now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. This way, here's the angel. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. <laughs> I'm always safe with Daddy. All right, Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. Bust the pile of junk! You broke it! Everything you touch turns to shit! Mean. <laughs> mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy, fat hands that loused it up. Typical broad. Stay away from things you don't know nothing about. Huh? Mother's pearls. You bastard. <laughs> so, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. I like the fire, Not if you don't visit the 
gatherer's garden, you aren't. Smart daddies get flight. Congratulations on your recent purchase of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fireplace with a snap of your fingers? Standard sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rupture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel? to force a mirror on a man with no face. Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood, looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. He says, piss off and die. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. 
Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're going to have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Thinks he's a hard man. <laughs> Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. Here, Father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Tin Daddy is not a man. It is half dog and half devil, made by Andrew Ryan to condemn our children to a walking death. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now, Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that makes us strangers. 
But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. One people, one cause. You can stop this heart, bleed this old body, but you cannot end the family. And as for you, Tid Daddy, you're dying alone. Snatchers headed, headed up, up into, into the hotel, the hotel family. family. He wants, he wants me, me so he can get to Eleanor. Eleanor. Tin Daddy, Daddy feels, feels no guilt. Tin, Tin Daddy, Daddy feels, feels no pain. pain. But, but we, we are the are family, family and we, we can teach, teach him how. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. We both died tonight, monster. I, because your kind has killing in its nature. And you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. Only an echo to my name, Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? child, and I tried. 
but baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down, broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. shall never reach her gun. Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the great hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. The park is sealed, Chief. You aren't getting in there just yet. But if you get down to that pumping station in Siren Alley and drain the place out, this airlock will let you in. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death. And for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. I think my 
mother knows I'm helping you like this. She's accelerating my treatments. Don't give up on me. Nothing. Oh. Looks like the good fathers kept up with the code locks. Time was, only way to join with Doc Lamb was to beg an audience with him first. Must be some sign of that number lying around. See if you can find us a lead. Daniel, you and I drafted Rapture's blueprint together. Wales and Wales, architects. Do you remember? But Andrew Ryan led us astray, my brother. Turn us from the Almighty. Dr. Lamb offers you salvation, Daniel. I ask only for proof that the barest flicker of faith remains in you. I left a gift for you at the Pink Pearl in your offices. Find the code on it, brother. We shall pray together for your sorry soul. I've got the maddening notion that I owe you my life, stranger. Such as it is. I'm sending you a care package to the new mo along the way. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Dr. Lamb. among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture. But during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. Are you Simon's boy? Well, here's my peace offering. Welcome to the big back and pearl, sweethearts. That has to be Daniel. Hunt him down and pin his ears back, kid. A brother sends you now? A metal fucking handyman? Lamb's got your arse on Teddy. I love yeah. <coughs> And here's a dozen fucking dogs for ya! Simon. 
And of course, the vintage date on the label is the code to enter his territory. 1919. I should pass his bleeding wine through my system, send it back warm. Faith, Delta. It lives within us, yet beyond us. Daniel Wales lacked it. Father Simon Wales does not. The faithful do not die in fear, as you did. We achieve martyrdom. Ah, now through this junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pumping station we are after. Father Wales has been recruiting holy rollers down there for lamb. You're stuck till the backups kick in. I'll help you hold them back. Check the new mode. Know this, beast. Daniel's body may go cold, but his soul rests with the child of the lamb. You shall roast and blacken in the pit, and it'll be a grieving brother sent you there. I think you're closing in on Simon's underground temple. Now get down to pumping station number five and drain out the park here. Oxygen's running thin in this train car, and I'd sure hate to see our partnership cut short. Ask yourself, Delta. You, who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan, what is the cost? of paradise, to end pain, to end sin. What must we pay? Eleanor is my answer. alone here, Mr. Diary. You're my whispering friend. A doctor keeps coming to see me. He says Rapture needs me, and tomorrow I'll be leaving with him. I ask why, and he just smiles. I'm not an orphan. Mom's alive somewhere, and Aunt Gracie is still probably looking for me. But I can't wait for them. I'm going to escape and find Amir. And we'll steal a submarine. Before it's tomorrow, I'll know what sunshine feels like.
once we trap now the bodies of Quail. It'll be real men only. Each of you know the child of the Lamb. Through Adam, our soul shall pass into her holy blood and will be reborn as a single immaculate body. is upon us, children. It wears a hide of iron, and its hands are death and change. It would seize the child from us, and with her, paradise itself! Be ye soldier of the ground, or angel of the sky, ye must stand fast and send it howling back to hell! One thing, though, once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch. Do you think me a tyrant? Delta, vying for control of a dead man's dream. The city is nothing. Rapture must die so that Elena may rise from its body. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Lambs overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park. Subject Delta, I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. This howling, brutish slog through the dark. This is who we are. Get out of there, kid! It is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead.
Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. One night it flooded, killing all her guests. Paper said it was cult-related. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked down and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Oh, hello boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> Before the locals stopped reading and started finding uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but I'm incognito. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to, uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and, uh, I can't have that. Take this, father, and hurry. Mother can't hear this, but she's... She's looking right at me. And her face... Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters. There she is. Little Tyke wants to be in pictures. <laughs> Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her. Yeah. 
You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. Are we gonna be together again, Daddy? I never used a belt on him or, or shout at him or nothing. I do everything right. Smart. See? You put it to work, and all that Adam ends up in you. But you're sort of a silent partner. So that's tops with me. It was like he was trying to ruin her. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Subject Delta is just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. There she is. Get her. I hope that bodyguard ain't one of your long lost. Rapture Delta, the finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic, Eleanor. Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. You were just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave you the nickname, but Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up, erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, 
Subject Delta. When all this is over, and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it, each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the gatherer's garden. All right, there's one. Club at a big palooka and grab the sister. Father, Stanley just let Mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember... If Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Eleanor will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Subject Delta. I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here, and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, 
It was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live! Oh, Christ Almighty. I... This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son.
Alex the Great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Identified. Clinical trial subject. Cla -cla classification. Protector. Designation. Designation. Delta. Status. Dis -dis Deceased. Error. Updating status. Please stand by. Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses on Mars. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, uh, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print blocks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Password to enter. Agnes Day. Access gr gr granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Password to enter. I warned you. <clears throat> when you're down in the mountain, life's a pain. Where the man says, heavy rain. A little boost is all you need. Average Joe to Hercules. Stronger arm and sharper brain. That's why the future is haunting. <laughs> Access d d d d Please speak clearly. Automatic de deactivation for 60 seconds. Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. I'm so funny! 
Dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 we chose for the Alpha Series. Criminals, Delta. You'll be laughed out of the boardroom, out of the city! I think you're onto something, kid. Some kind of pirate relay doohickey keeping security under his spell. Find the rest of those and vandalize them directly. jab in the arm and even a hopeless underperformer can be employee of the month. Or oh, you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? The Rapture consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. <laughs> Only a single volunteer. Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you. Upstaged a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks?
still a winner, Delta. The tour was never the same without you. And to think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that get-up. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy. to beating him at his own game. But now the game's changing. Ryan's boys are coming in heavy, looking to knock down my door and take what's mine. Like this is the first time I had to dodge a bullet. They're coming to my house expecting a show, but they're gonna get a disappearing act. Say goodbye to Fontaine, and hello to Atlas. Insubordination! Severance package cancelled! Benefits... Benefits rescinded! I... Each new tyrant ventured here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, uh, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it.
As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. <coughs> Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep-sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it! Well, listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out. Well, that's the end of the Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That madwoman Tannenbaum bit the company hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today, I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. the laboratories in your condition. Marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. 
Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? together father plain god you were the only good thing that rapture ever gave me she was not meant to have a father delta she was to be an heir to my life's work and this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. Mother has destroyed Dr. Alexander. She tried to splice him into some kind of living saint who would calculate the common good and adhere to it tirelessly. But now he's become something unspeakable. Mother's philosophy is just as corrupt as Ryan's. By her standards, it would be better to have the entire world equally miserable than to allow us to strive in our own behalf. I have to get out of here. We put our eldest sister through a new regimen of physical and mental conditioning and suited her up with modified protector equipment of my design. The younger ones have dubbed her a big sister. Sadly, this is a stopgap. Between rogue splicers and the aging of the girls, we'll run out of viable little sisters soon. After that, the surface may be our only source. Time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. Poor Gilbert. It was his will to die, Delta to serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library.
you try to buy me out with this, this bribe, this penance, this sublime. God damn you, Delta! <laughs> Perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. You, you don't have to kill me, Delta. I'm sorry. Oh, please. I will go outside. I will live outside. This is the Oxyfill station, Chief. But don't be fooled by the facade. This is the way in. Use that key now. Persephone, we're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture, dying to keep you two apart. Father, come quickly. I, I'm trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. I wonder, Delta. Do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You still believe. That's her son, Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father. Locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. 
and take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. Chambers waiting on you. Get in there. Your signal breaking up. I can see or hear a thing. Something that can me. Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster, shaped by you alone, just as she has always wanted. Twenty seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. But if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now. Or worse, but I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. a bit strange father but now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go this is how i brought you back without mother catching on now first let's get you out of here She's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there.
in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change, to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big cyst suit. Please, bring them to me. There's a piece of the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. Ten years, Father. Stuck in this... this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. Quarantined, but mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, we have found father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. It's only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those Vita chambers to seek his genetic signature. And then, I can't wait to see Mother's face. The other sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father, because of me. Mother was right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father, studying the way you have treated others, and now I know who I am. I am free. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one. And it gave me hope for the first time in years.
now, I will do the same for all the others, starting with this one. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. These suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. work, and with it, my only daughter. But Rapture is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family, side by side. Oh God, she's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. The girls remember you. We... This is Sinclair's lifeboat, Father. Out the window here. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair? The man who would sell paradise. And where is he now? Warning. Warning. A security curfew is now in effect. All cells and bulkheads are sealed until further notice. This facility hangs over an ocean trench delta. The family has activated timed charges within its foundations. Surrender before detonation or we shall fall and be crushed in the abyss below. Mother has locked all of Persephone down, including the gangway leading to the lifeboat. We can reverse it from the holding wing if we hurry. Come on! Use the plasmid if you need me, Father. I'm going to have a look around. Subject Delta has escaped. Eleanor Lamb has turned on her own people. Stand and fight me, or the Rapture family falls together. We have to get you out of Rapture, Father. It's the only way I can save you now. One final Alpha series, ready to die for the family. As Persephone's former owner, he is the ideal man to put you back in your cage. Mother's controlling Sinclair, Father, and he's got the master key. Catch him! K 
shit. Lamb's in my head. I, I can't help myself. I have to fight just to talk. Left me my goddamn tongue to torture the bomb codes out of me. She wants me to stop you leaving. I... I'm sorry. inside Sinclair's lifeboat now. Delta cannot reach me here, but you can. You need not die with him. We... we shall return to the surface together, if you will only step inside and accept your duty. Remember, Eleanor, Mummy loves you. Ah, yes. Mother's testing me. One last game. Fortunately, by now, I'm the world's foremost expert at breaking her rules. I've made my choice, Father. And if needs be, I'll die for it. Kid, I'm sorry. I've, I've locked you in here. Lamb's making me dance on her goddamn strings. I can't stop. You're gonna have to break in here and put me down. Wish there was another way, but I'd rather die a man than live like this. God, he's right, Father. Mother's betting you'll die in here or that I'll abandon you before the bombs detonate. We can't save Sinclair now. We need that key from him. Find the code to the watchtower or work out a way to draw him out. I'd tell you the code to that, that keypad, if I could. It's like lambs put walls up in my head, but, but the prisoners here might have walked out the number. Check the cells. Oh, please, hurry. It hurts to keep singing out without say-so. And, and I'm starting to forget the words. Son, I built this place and I... I did wrench you out to those plasma trials up at Fontaine. And now, now I'm paying for it. Wish I had time to make amends. Take the lifeboat, it's all yours. Just don't leave me like this. <laughs> Mr. Dodge, that's quite a generous offer. I hid the code in the community bathroom, in the tank of the last toilet on the left. I also stashed some other loot there for a rainy day. It's all yours. Good luck using the code. Free will, Delta. Eleanor's gift to you. And with each decision, you twisted her into your own image. Sinclair has no such choice. Yet in its absence, he serves the world unerringly. He is now the better man. <laughs> You did it, kid. Now, come find me. I'm sorry we gotta say our, our fairly wells like this. I'd do it myself if I could. Sinclair is moving, Father. Track him down. <laughs> so long, kid. Thank you. Sinclair is dead, Father. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you were close. When you're ready, take the key.
Now, Father, I'm afraid that ending the lockdown means releasing all the prisoners. So please, be ready before you use that key on the override switch. Override engaged. Ending security curfew. Sealing security office temporarily. Sinclair died a hero of the Rapture family, Delta. Was he a friend to you, or just a tool? Can you even grasp the difference? And Eleanor, you have chosen Subject Delta over your mother, your people, and the duty of your birth. So be it. You believe this craft will carry Delta to safety like a spoilt child with a new toy. I have no choice but to take it away. Curfew lifted. All cell blocks open. All bulkhead seals released. Oh no. Mother's turned her attention to the lifeboat. We must go there, now! Every moment tears Eleanor further from me, Delta. Soon, this father obsession will end her. You have left me without want. Before you die, I will take all that you hold dear. Sinclair is just another body in your wake. I was afraid of this. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, Father. The lifeboat will be too heavy to launch. Unless... Let me think. I think I can boil away the water and get the lifeboat to rise. But I can't generate that much heat alone. It's time to recruit the rest of Mother's little sisters. We're taking them with us. Head to the pediatric wards. I'll wake the children up. They're stronger than they know. With their help, I should be able to boil off the water and get us all out of here. Go on ahead, Father. I'll free them as quickly as I can, just as you showed me. You are not saving them, Delta. No matter how pure your intent, the surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. Look, Father, I know you may not have wanted a daughter, but love is just a chemical. We give it meaning by choice. I will be damned if I let Mother take you away from me again. Eleanor was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian, serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud. Ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. You granted Eleanor the will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them.
I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. from her home and family and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, Father. Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil. Father, the rapture dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed, you endured, and when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong, Father. We are Utopia, you and I, and in forgiving, we left the door open for her.
The rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, father, and I need you to guide me. You will always be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering. If Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning. Subject Sigma is approaching Minerva's den. He must not reach the Thinker. Detonate the tunnel! Sigma? Can you hear me? The name's Porter. Charles Milton Porter. Doc Tenenbaum tells me you're here to help us get the thinker out of Rapture. It's not going to be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You should be able to get inside through an airlock. Minerva's den has been cut off from the rest of Rapture for some time, but not cut off from splicing. Don't let your guard down. The den's gone dark, but if you can reset the local power relay, I'll be able to get the juice flowing from here. Hello there. Welcome to Minerva's den, the home of Rapture's high technology. What steps into Minerva's den? Potter's newest toy? He wants to think her for himself. Ah, but you see, old friend, 
the machine has chosen me. Rapture Central Computing together, but the greedy bastard pushed me out years ago. The splicers, the security. He pulls the strings in Minerva's den now. Look at you, Sigma. You think that Porter is your ally, but the thinker knows better. The thinker knows. What would Rapture be like without automation? From self-opening doors to pneumatic deliveries, Rapture Central Computing keeps life running smoothly. The power is rerouted. That should tip things in our favor. Head up to my office in the executive wing. I've got something you'll need. Hurry now. The thinker's perfect equation has predicted your every move, Sigma. It knew you would be here. It knows where you will be next. And it knows that you will fail. Wall's become obsessed with perfecting his predictive equation. The thinker can do plenty, but tell the future? Now, the splicing drove him mad. Wall can rot here in rapture for all I care. We'll make a copy of the thinker and return it to the land of the living. That damn door on the fritz again? Somebody around here must have had one of those maintenance tools. I'd check the machine room here in the executive wing. should come in handy. Head back up to my office. Minerva's den is mine. You think you can hack your way to the thinker? <laughs> You're welcome to try. Wall splicers haven't gotten into my office thanks to the thinker's security. I'm giving you top level access now. All right? Beginning scan. Scanning. Designation. Sigma. Please come in. Sorry I can't be there to meet you in person. You've seen the state of the den these days. It's the thinker that's important now, though. I need you to get to the computer core and print a hard copy of the thinker's machine code. Core accesses and operations. There's an ops access punch card hidden in the compartment under my desk there. Grab the card and head for ops. Potter's time is done, friend. And now you collude with this traitor to steal the thinker away from me? 
<laughs> Sigma must be removed from the equation. Thinker, deploy office defenses. was a brilliant engineer. We saw eye to eye once, long ago, but the splicing made him paranoid, delusional. He'd murder us both to keep the thinker here. The Rapture Central Computing Mainframe performs over one million calculations per second. Couldn't your business benefit from that kind of power? Contact a corporate accounts representative today. Rapture Central Computing, in your Rapture direct. The Lancer is the most technically advanced big daddy that Rapture ever produced. Now it stands between you and the Little Sisters. And if there's anywhere that you'll need Adam to get by, it's Minerva's Den. No time to play, Mr. D. More Adam for Big Sister. <laughs> Subject Sigma rises above the pack, hmm? A futile gesture before the all-knowing thinker. I'm always safe with Daddy. Hell. The maglock door is still active. It's regulated by the resistors plugged into that relay. If you can find a way to yank them out, magnets fail, doors open. There's a plasmid that could do the job. They called it gravity well. According to the thinker's records, the airtight archives warehouse supervisor had a shot of gravity well on hand. Getting into the Archives Warehouse, that'll be the fun part. The door to the Archives is shorted out. I'd check the McClendon Robotics Workshops for a shot of Electrobolt. How does it feel to know that your grand purpose is foretold by a machine? The numbers know already what will happen. As I tell you this, will it affect the outcome? Eh, I am not so much holding my breath. Hello? At least this will come as a surprise to you. Daddy, 
One good zap from that electrobolt plasmid should get you into the archives. 7K. Try to resist the pull of Gravity Well. The Tinker knows what you're going to do with that, and it isn't happy. The machine's prediction accounts for your every act. Until you reach the Tinker's core, the equation simply ends. I will not let such an error come to pass! Up and over, friend. Once you toss that gravity well over the divider, the suction will do the rest. Bingo. That's the way. We're one step closer to getting the Thinker's blueprint out of Rapture. Head down the lift to operations. Operations. You're nearing the heart of the machine. Visitors to Minerva's Den are reminded that the operations wing of Rapture Central Computing is strictly off-limits. Sigma, you show such loyalty to a proven traitor. What is Porter to you? A convenient excuse to disrupt my work? Or something more? I am curious, I must admit. But not enough to let you live. Sphere at my lab that should be able to get us the hell out of Rapture, but we can't launch just yet. First, we'll need to reprogram a signal beacon. That nutcase lamb's got the city on lockdown, but a hacked beacon should keep her torpedoes at bay. See what you can find. The seafloor outside Minerva's den is a machine graveyard. With a little luck, you should find the beacon we need out there. No one is supposed to be here! <laughs> Some damn fool stuck his finger in the socket. To get out through the airlock, you'll have to break the circuit somehow. Down bathosphere. They each had a signal beacon we could use. Hmm. 
Make yourself at home, Sigma. Soon you also will be rusting here among the trash, used up by Porter and tossed on the heap. That'll do the trick. Take the beacon to the master input console in the programming wing. That paranoid bastard Wall had it installed in his office. I read to you now from the machine's prediction. Sigma enters Minerva's den. Encounters hostility. Sigma enters Wall's chambers. You see, the thinker has chosen me. It does not care what I once did! I can run the hack sequence from here. Just one minute. That should do it, I hope. If the hack turned out right, you are now the proud owner of one homemade signal jammer. Porter worries you with Sophia Lamb's torpedoes? Ha! Ah! He fills your head with foolish visions of freedom. I can provide you more immediate concerns. So far, so good. I can feel the sunlight already. Now we just print out the machine code from the Thinker's central processor so I can take it to the surface and start to rebuild. Computer core access is at the far end of Ops. to enter the core, not just yet. Wall, you son of a bitch. He's cranked the Thinker's cooling system into overdrive. You're frozen out of the core. Head to climate control and manually reset the turbine to defrost this mess. It's the only way we're going to make it to the Thinker.
set. Temperature balance normalized. Get you your core access restored. That'll do. The chamber leading the mainframe access is defrosting as we speak. Head on back there. Next stop, the Thinker's computer core. Let's fix your face, <laughs> The equation is nearing its conclusion, Sigma. The answers lie in the core. The thinker is waiting for you, Sigma. And so am I. Watch out! Hell, there's one way into the core that Wall can't lock off. The maintenance access shafts. Sorry to send you down through the pit. It's all we've got. What is driving you into the core, Sigma? What compels you to defy the Thinker's equation? Sigma, you have never even met them! Ryan's secret police came for Potter long ago, and now he has reappeared in Minerva's den? A man sent to Persephone does not just open his cell door and walk home. of the machine. You did not listen. When the pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will have only yourself to blame. Well, Thinker, Ryan's secret police are on their way. They cooked up some kind of evidence against me. Treason, they say. I've heard what happens to folks who get disappeared, come back as one of those metal daddies. So, I'm leaving you with something to cogitate on in my absence. Inputting Rapture Departure Protocol. Figure a way to get yourself out of this city, Thinker. You've got to live on, no matter what happens to me. You'll find a way. in the Thinker's core. The code printer is upstairs in the control booth. Top level access only. 
you'll need to confirm your genetic identity to start the printing process. You see? The thinker is shut down. That leaves only two variables. You and me. The equation ends here. Herr Sigma, it is Dr. Tannenbaum. With the computer disabled, my nervous den is falling to pieces. No pressure regulation, no air supply. You must defeat Vol and bring the thinker back to full power. Before you, the trusted partner who put a knife in your back. Do not disappoint me. Administrator punch card from Val's body and reactivate the thinker. Why I let the machine speak for you, Mr. Porter. We needed a voice that would be familiar, comforting, your own. With that copy of the Thinker's programming, we may return to the surface and use it to restore you to the man you once were. Please, collect the printout and meet me at your bathysphere dock. Take your time, Mr. Porter. I will be waiting.
done feeding audio recordings and personal anecdotes to the thinker. I am set to test the personality duplication function. Target personality, Pearl Porter. Thinker, are you ready? Yes, Milton. <clears throat> Starting test. Hello, Pearl. Hello, Milton. How... <clears throat> How have you been? Just wonderful, Milton. I've missed you, though. It's been so long. Pearl, I... No. No, this isn't right. It isn't her. Thinker, stop the test. But what's the matter, Milton? Oh, God. Don't you still love me? Oh, God, I... Oh, God, I said... I said, end function, Thinker. Now! It's over. The Thinker never gave up on you, Mr. Porter. It could not leave you behind. Please, step up to the console and begin the bathysphere launch sequence. We have much work ahead of us. I lived through the Blitz, Pearl, and the fall of Rapture. They took my memory, my voice, everything that made me a man.